Hey guys, Mr. Wagner here for seventh grade social studies for 427. Uh, sorry, I couldn't be in school today, but I wanted to record what's going on today to make it as clear as possible. So on my screen, you'll see, good morning students. Today, most of you are completing the choice board on North Africa. So the first one we did in class was the Kahoot. And we wrote down who did what, like who actually did the Kahoot and signed in. There's like a few in each class that signed in and didn't even participate in the Kahoot. So you get nothing. Good day, sir. And then the rest of you got credit for one third of the assignment. It's going to be a formative grade, right? So that's 33. Woo! And then today, maybe some of you already started handing in in the old other class period, like the old classroom assignments underneath this one, like down here, not down here, like down here. There's other day, the other day you started handing in assignments and I've been checking them off on a checklist as well. So today you're going to go in and you're going to click on the choice board and you're going to say, all right, I got to do two more of these, John's. Which ones am I going to do? So I really strongly suggest doing the ge ge geography digital worksheet, which is just like a worksheet where you have to like look at the map and say, uh, letter A is uh, Egypt. Okay. And then you put the letter A in the correct spot. So it looks like, hello. It looks like this. And then you go and you just type the answers below. Like I'll say, number one is Libya. So I find the letter. Oh, it looks like it's like a D. So I type in D for number one. Um, group slideshow. You might not have enough time. We want this done by Wednesday night, but that was on there. You could just do that by yourself. It's like a total biography of one country. If you happen to be like Egyptian, maybe you want to do the slideshow about Egypt and do all the info about Egypt. The one that might be really fun. Most students are doing the acrostic poem or the Google Earth. They're both fun, right? Acrostic poem, the word landform is going down, L-A-N-D-F-O-R-M. And for L, you would say um, Libya has a lot of aquifers underground, L for Libya. A, um, Algeria, you can only live near the coast, but they do have a lot of farming, probably the most diverse crops, something like that. Um, that's an acrostic poem. So I'll show that. If you look at this very tiny screen, there are all these sentences going down. It looks like somebody left their work in there. You have to push file, make a copy. You can't, <laughs> if I click on this, this is hilarious. Somebody left their work here because they didn't push file, make a copy. You can't hand this in because obviously I'll, I'll see this copy right here screenshotting it just in case somebody tries to hand this in as their own work guys you gotta make a copy file make a copy right up here file make a copy uh, the last one is google earth there's a doc file where you put your notes and then you go to google earth and then you there's all these um different sites and you have to go to one in each country in north africa you made like a list it's like a playlist in youtube but like of Places. So on when you open up the uh, Google Earth, the top left will have like different places on my playlist, if you will, the little yellow markers. And you got to go to one in each country. Um, some countries have more than one place to go. Others do not. Like Libya might only have one because I don't know how safe it is there. I don't think want to go there. It's, all right. So you hand in two of these things. You attach them in today's assignment, and then you uh, submit at the end and then last second of the second block. Because if you do finish early, we're moving on to this Pear Deck. And you'll see that there is codes that you can go to for each class period. And you really got to go to your class period. If you don't want to know what class period it is, whew, uh, good luck to you. But uh, they are at the bottom two assignments. So there is a, it's a giant slideshow Pear Deck. You don't have to do every slide. There's like six or seven questions total. It's a lot of slides, but it tells the entire story of East Africa. Um, East Africa has some countries that are dirt poor and dangerous, and one even kind of committed a genocide, which is like when you try to kill all one type of people. Not cool. Uh, I have some funny things in there too. Like on the first slide, I have the Horn of Gondor, and then I have um, like Stone Cold Steve Austin in there. It's crazy. There's only like seven questions spread out 
and it'll be like, okay, here's the mountain, here's another mountain, here's another mountain. And then like after the third slide, it's like, okay, so based on this, what can you say about the mountains? It's like summary questions every couple of slides. It's like reading in the textbook back in the day, but now it's digital. So if I'm done all the other stuff, or maybe like about two students in each class already done the pro this, this project grade uh, about North Africa, we're moving on to East Africa. You side and it's first it's this where you go through the Pear Deck. You can't really click on this and do the work because it doesn't save it. You have to go sign into Pear Deck. I just put this here just in case, but I should have it open to student paste. Uh, then the last thing you can do obviously is like the map or work worksheet where you go in, look at the letters and type the correct answers in. Uh, that is it for today, 42721, and I wish you much luck getting as much as possible done. Cheers.